Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the inside-out forehand. And I want to show you how you can play the inside-out forehand running around your backhand and make it into an offensive, aggressive, and powerful weapon. Now, everybody runs around their backhand. Novak Djokovic, with the best backhand in the world, he runs around his backhand and plays forehands when he can, because the modern forehand has much more spin, is more aggressive, and it allows us to open the court up much better, because with the spin and trajectory, we can find places to hit the ball that are really impossible with the flatter backhand. But to do this, you have to get the first movement and the last movement perfect, and you have to commit. Let me explain what I mean. So I'm in the middle of the baseline and my opponent hits the ball somewhere along this line here, wants to be within one or two steps if I'm going to successfully run around the backhand. And the first thing is that the racket goes back and the right foot crosses behind the left. So the moment that I've committed to my decision to run around the backhand, then I'm going to move in this direction here. And now I'm going to move across the baseline in this angle in this position. So it's not like a normal ground stroke where I'll move across kind of parallel to the net. I'm going to commit to this. The racket goes back and the right foot and now I track the ball. It's very important that the racket goes back early. If you just make the right foot movement and then swing from here, then it's not going to have the same force penetration and you won't have the same commitment. And I'm going to keep coming back to that word commitment as I explain this movement. So the right foot goes behind the left, the racket goes back, and now we track the ball. And then when you make the stroke, now once again, the right foot goes behind the left foot. So let's look at those two movements together. The racket goes back in the right foot, I track it, I hit, and the left foot is pulled behind the right foot. This is essential if you're going to get real penetration on the stroke, because this is an aggressive stroke. And to be successful with this, you need to commit. It's useless to actually run around the backhand and then play a safe, conservative forehand stroke. You're just opening the course up for your opponent and you're making life harder for yourself. So be committed, really go for it. And remember the first step and the last step are essential. The racket goes back with the right foot. I track the ball and now pull the foot back, hit and go for the big winner. Running around your backhand and playing the inside-out forehand is a fantastic way of gaining control of the point and dominating your opponent. But you have to do it with the correct technique and the correct commitment. Remember, the right foot back, the racket back, the right foot back again, and then be committed to the stroke. And if you like our ideas on tennis, have a look at our off-court services. Online, I'm helping players in over 40 countries all over the world with personalized one-to-one -one lessons and video analysis. Or check out our books on Amazon. We have books on every part of the game. Everything is designed in the books to be a teaching and learning experience. They have very clear explanations and great illustrations. Everything is designed to help you become the best version of yourself. So don't just play backhands. Run around your backhand and be aggressive with the forehand. But do it with the correct technique and have real commitment for the stroke. And you'll have more success on the court and make more winners and win more matches. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work. Yeah,